Hi, I'm Steve Price. I'm just going to cover uh, an essential part of the installation of printers on Apple Macs. We are experiencing a high number of callers and customers who are finding that when they go to menus that we are describing to them or asking them to choose certain paper types, they're finding they're not actually there or they are printing just poor results constantly. Nine times out of 10, this is because your printer has been added by the AirPrint driver on your Apple Mac. And I just want to cover a little procedure that we're um, emailing out to people, but we thought we'd do a little video as well just to show you quickly where you can do a quick check and make sure you're not running the, the wrong driver, etc. But this is the procedure we would recommend. First thing, whenever you buy your printer, or you can do this at any time, of course, you should always go straight on to the manufacturer's website and go and download the manufacturer's driver. Your Mac uh, reseller who sold you the device probably tells you that you don't have to because it will install it for you. That is true, but you're not using the actual manufacturer's driver, which is what you really need to do proper photo printing. Jump on to, for today, let's say we go to canon.co.uk. We're going to load up, let's say, a Pro 300 uh, Canon, which is a very popular one for photographers go onto their website and go to their support tab and you'll find a, a series of options come up. One is called drivers and that's the one we're going to select. So we're going to search for the Pro 300 and Image Pro Pro 300 pops up in the menu. When you get into this page, it will automatically seek out what your operating system is. And today it's telling me that we're on a Mac uh, Catalina bit of an older model, but many of you will be today on Big Sur, Monterey, or even the Sonoma latest version. All of these versions are affected by this problem of AirPrint being installed. It's what Apple have set up uh, and implemented on every operating system. So um, for today, going on Catalina, we'll go down, scroll down, and it tells you what driver is available. On Canon, CUPS drivers are very common, um, but there is a download and it's saying that I can download this for my system over here. You would go through that download procedure and you'll run that as an installer onto your Mac computer so that it's ready to be applied. What we'll do now is just show the, um, the adding of a printer itself. So this is the key area that's really important. Now that we've got the driver on our computer, you will go into your system preferences or system settings, go into printers and scanners, we do actually have a Pro 300 already added here, but I'm going to add another one. Make sure there are no versions of AirPrint added automatically, because as soon as you switch on a printer device, it can wirelessly transmit. Your Mac may pick that up, get rid of it, delete it before you do this process. Make sure your printer's connected with a cable. This is important too, otherwise the driver will be grabbed by AirPrint. So again, implement a, an ethernet cable or a USB cable. We're then going to add, I'll well, remove this one that's already here so we can make the process clean. You click the plus button and your Mac will search your network or whatever is around you and it will find various implemented printers that may be available. Select the model that you're trying to install and this is where the process falls down because as you can see immediately as soon as I selected a Pro 300 that it can see in the vicinity, it's automatically gone to secure AirPrint. This is the part which most people don't even notice. They click add and the printer is added. You're now using a, what we call a slim driver. This driver is really built for documents and low level, low quality image printing. Not great for photo printing and certainly not great for color management control. So at this point, you would change this AirPrint and select software. You then get it presented with a search box. We will type in here Pro 300. It will now go and look on your operating system for the driver you just previously installed from the manufacturer's website. And there it goes, it's found it. We click OK. It's now in the box. You can put in the location of your printer if you wish, it's not essential. But now the add button is relevant and we will add this printer and it will do the necessary and use that driver you installed earlier to make sure the printer is added correctly. Um, once that has been done, there's a quick way of checking what driver you may have implemented. Um, 
So when you highlight the printer in the list, we now got a green button here saying it's connected, everything's good. Go to options and supplies. And you can see here straight away, driver 22.20 um, is selected. It no longer says air print, which would probably show itself as version 2.0, 3.0 or 9.0 we're now experiencing. Make sure that driver matches the one you downloaded from the manufacturer's site. And so we'd be quite happy that that is now going to function with all the paper menus and the options and the color management controls that we need to do proper photo printing. If you have any questions about this process, we do have, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we have an email we can send you with the uh, procedure written out, um, or just give us a call and we can get that emailed over to you and uh, assist you in any other ways possible. Thank you for using Permajet.